welcome sisters my name is Mo and welcome to my channel on my channel we speak about all things traditional womanhood femininity Proverbs 31 and being a virtuous woman so if these are topics that you are interested in please do like share and definitely subscribe so that you can get notifications I do make videos every week and there is a new topic so today's topic is the reasons why I decided to abstain from sex and stop having sex and the beliefs that I have in sex before marriage as well as why us women should really stop having sex before marriage. So if this is a topic you're interested in getting into, please do stay tuned. Start commenting below. Let me know if you are somebody that is either a virgin or even if you're not a virgin, people seem to think that we cannot decide to change our lives. All our experiences are different and this channel is definitely not about judging anyone but allowing a, dif a different perspective of what all as women are living and definitely to strive to be more virtuous, to be more traditional. We have to have higher values than the values that this world is teaching us to have. We need to sip a water for this topic like woo! Let's get into it. The personal reasons as to why I decided to stop having sex and why I believe in no sex before marriage. I really made a big commitment in my faith, you know, into following the word of God. I was just so fed up in being in relationships, in sexual relationships or in a relationship that had sexual relations, you know, be having sex definitely and being more sexual with somebody. I was so tired of the outcome like okay so the world is showing us to be more like this we need to date the hookup culture sensuality sexuality and personally for me it was not working out in terms of the traditional life that I've always thought in my mind I wanted to have it was not a productive way to try to get there it was a way that was actually more harmful and damaging to me as a person to my soul to my mind to my spirit I mean everything that comes involved with engaging in sex before marriage can be so damaging to our self-esteem as women and as people in general the more effects of having sex before marriage that of unwanted pregnancies teenage pregnancies stds there are such things as soul ties you know sex can be a distraction it can take away our desire to want to work in different areas of our lives because we get attached to people we get attached to relationships it is definitely a way to get into relationships with people or situations that are more toxic the longer we wait to have sex, we're able to really evaluate a relationship. We're able to really evaluate whether a man is meant for us at this time and period. Are we ready for it? And if this is really what we want before we give the most intimate part of ourselves away in terms of society is so hypersexualized. I remember the first time I heard of sex ed I think it was grade 4 I must have been 11 or so and then I started my period when I was about 12 so my mother and I were having a conversation about you know the biology of sex and things like that and I had already learned everything from school in grade 4 how the sexual organs work the reproductive system which is all okay from a biological you know biology science type of way but what they then started teaching us was how to have have sex protected sex before marriage how to not get pregnant before marriage and the thing about this type of teaching and not teaching girls to abstain and not teaching women to keep their virginity is that it gives us a green light to engage in behaviors that are definitely way more mature than what teenagers or even young women 
are ready for you know before marriage are we really ready to give ourselves out to any man that is hasn't even committed to you via marriage they haven't even shown a commitment to you as a person and a relationship love is an action word so the more we allow ourselves to be distracted and deceived with emotions people normalizing a sexual and lustful culture definitely comes from a place of wickedness like let's just be real but also a place of lack of self-love and self-confidence the more that we feel we need to expose ourselves to prove who we are that's when we show how we really don't love who we are if we are willing to let anybody and everybody get into us and add us um, the times that I was more in the world where I was not caring about sex before marriage or not, I would say my self-love for myself was not very high. I need external validation. We do not need sexual validation in order to prove our worth. You know, we do not need to be sensual and lustful and, oh, you know, I am a woman, so you have to see my breasts. You have to get into me in order to know. No, people do not need to do that in order to know what kind of woman you are. Deciding to abstain from sex was one of the best decisions that I've made for my life. And that's what it really is, your decision. And it's a commitment. Once we decide to, we decide to remain abstinent or to not have sex before marriage and remain a virgin, it is the best decision that we can make for our lives. That is one of the first decisions in real self-love and self-control. Be confident in your decision. There's no shame whatsoever in waiting. Actions really do begin in our mind. Once you make a decision and set your mind on what you want to do, we are then able to work towards what we want to achieve. Abstinence and being a virgin is actually a really great skill. And to able to achieve that skill, there obviously needs to be reasons and ways that you can be able to further yourself in it. There are definitely boundaries that we can add to our lives as well as ways to decrease temptation because the one of the biggest reasons why we decide to have sex is temptation and what we need to realize is temptation is common in this world there will be loads of temptation and lust sex is not going anywhere so the longer we delay to have sex it won't mean that we won't eventually have it i mean at some point maybe not everybody might not get married but if we believe you know in the word of god if we believe that we get a reward for our patience and our long suffering that god will reward us in a way that is far beyond our own plans and how we think we should get to marriage and how we think we should date and get to know one another and lastly, uh, a personal reason that I do enjoy not having sex before marriage and the past, I think it, I'm going on to almost five years right now, is that I feel more put together. I do not feel like, you know, the past is the past and whatever's happened, you know, it is what it is. I do believe that God has forgiven me because when we decide to repent and repentance and change is actually changing who you are. It's not just about being sorry or remorseful. It's about making a difference. So when I made that decision, it was hard in the beginning. It's not easy to just change your behavior. It's not easy to definitely, I mean, it's not easy to taste candy and then tell yourself you're not going to eat it anymore when it's in front of your face. But it becomes easier as the years go by, as more you realize why the decision and what this decision is about. This decision is about protecting my body as well, because there is, it is a reality that there are STDs out there. It is a reality that we can get pregnant. Any moment that you decide to have sex before marriage, it is unprotected sex. And when we say, oh, I just got pregnant or I never expected it, yes we expect it when you have sex the reproductive system especially as a woman that has been through puberty and no child should be engaging in sexual behavior at all anyway but that is the reality of it sex can lead to babies 
you know unwanted babies babies that we end up having with men that won't even commit to us babies that we end up having with people that we ourselves do not want to commit to so the put togetherness is not just you know physically but mentally as well I sleep peacefully knowing that I haven't slept with somebody to prove myself or to prove their love. I sleep peacefully knowing that I am protecting my mental health. I'm protecting my virtuousness. You know, I may have not started this way, but there is definitely a way to change our lives. I'm protecting the love that eventually I believe that God will bring towards me. You know, I'm adding value high value to our lives we are adding high value by being more inclined to have sex before marriage you're actually taking away value from yourself and women and every other woman out there that doesn't want to engage in it because now we are all expected to act in a certain way you know because of the way that society just you know doesn't agree with us and that's okay but think about it you know think about it go through the word of god be honest with yourself are you really okay with having sex before marriage i mean we all grow up wanting personally for me i've wanted to be a wife you know since i was a young girl and when we imagine being a wife you know i didn't i didn't really imagine the pro that's it that's what's gonna be but reality is it doesn't always end up like that and when we give up our bodies to be able to get to a stage of marriage we take away definitely more to unpack in this topic it's this this is just an introduction of this topic on thursdays we will be talking it will be talk thursday let's be honest with one another open with one another into topics that are more controversial you know topics that actually need us to dig deep within ourselves and be honest so ladies please do subscribe every week i will have content different topics on how we can be more feminine how to be more traditional how to embrace how God has made us and how to stay committed to the journey that we have begun or want to begin. So please do comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you waiting for marriage to have sex? How is it going? Please, I do need the support sisters because it's hard out here. <laughs> in all honesty, I love you all. Peace and love and thank you for tuning in.